here we have the TKKJ A1. It is a twin propeller hovercraft. I, I've never had a hovercraft before. When I was younger, I always wanted the Tyco Typhoon hovercraft. Typhoon and mini Typhoon. And I never got it. So I'm kind of curious as to how well this will do. So let's open it up. This box was a little bit damaged when I received it. So hopefully everything is okay in the box. So first we'll start off with the instruction manual. And in here we have another box, which from the pictures, it looks like that's where the charger is gonna be and the remote. Here is the remote and it clicks. It clicks on the turning too. So this is non-proportional. So all you have here is your on and off switch and your steering and throttle. And then you're gonna need a screwdriver, which there is one included in the pack here. You're gonna need a screwdriver for the two double A's that the controller requires. But in this pack here, you have a USB charger, you have a Phillips head screwdriver, and then you have a cleaning cloth. And that is to dry it off when you're done, if you take it in the water. So here it is, there is the pad. Now they recommend that you don't run it on rough surface. So a smooth flat surface is what they would like you to run this on. And then also you can run it on the water, they say. So we will take it out on the water and we will see if this thing does work on the water. Up top here is where you need your screwdriver. And that's where you store the battery. And it is a 3.7 volt, 380 milliamp hour LiPo battery. So there you see it. That is everything that comes in the box. We're gonna charge this up and see how she does on the land and on the water. So in the manual, it says to run this on a hard flat surface. So I tried it on macadam and well, it didn't really go so well. If you push it around, it does float a little bit. Okay, so it does not want to go anywhere. <laughs> and I have full throttle. Oh, we have a little bit of movement here and that's about it. And then I tried it on concrete and it did go a little bit better. So the last thing I wanted to try it on was something laminated. Unfortunately, I don't have any laminated flooring, but I do have this table. So let's see how well it goes on this laminated table. So it actually goes pretty good on the laminated table. So if you have laminated flooring, then I think this, <laughs> I think this will work pretty good on the laminated flooring. It does have reverse. It does not go in reverse too good. So the best results are on something laminated. So it does say that this can also be used on water, but the water has to be still with no choppiness or anything like that. So I have a place in mind, so let's go. So after a long walk through the woods and we finally have arrived, about a 15, 20 minute walk. We finally arrived to a pretty nice quiet area where there's 
no choppy water and that's what is required for this thing so let's see how well it does on the water I wish I had a spot where I could run it from land to water, but I don't. I don't know of a spot that I can do that. So I'm gonna put this in here. Hopefully it floats. Okay. It does float. It definitely runs better on the water than it did on the blacktop. Although it looks like I'm taking on a little bit of water, maybe. <laughs> Doing some donuts there. <laughs> Spin it around the other way. So it's a better water vehicle than it is a land vehicle. I don't want to take it out too far. I really don't feel like going for a swim, but I do think the current will bring it back to the land. Plus, I don't know how long this battery is going to last. It's not a very big battery. So I think it said like six to eight minutes of runtime. I don't know who would really enjoy this. Uh, maybe Maybe if you're a little kid, maybe, but as for an adult, this, I'm not really having all that much fun. I would love to go a little bit faster. water came out of it when I got it out of the water so it doesn't seem like it took on too much water uh, it stayed floating the entire time that I was out on the water so it doesn't do too bad with floating as I was filming that little montage there you can hear the remote does have a low battery warning so that's good so you know to get it out of the water and uh, you can see the green LED is flashing in the back that's also to warn you that the battery is getting low so that is pretty cool that it does come with that so this is how you shut it off you just do a long hold on the on off button and it'll shut off which it'll also shut off the low battery alarm as well on the remote so that was the tkkj a1 i don't know what to think about it i mean it doesn't do too well on the land but on the water it's a different story it does go okay i mean it's not the best but if after what you just saw if you wish to purchase one of these i will leave a link down in the description you can only find these on banggood right now but that'll do it for now check out the next video coming out real soon it's going to be the hawaiina 1331 little rc excavator over here is a little subscribe button go ahead and click that and like i said smack that like button. i hope to see you with the next ready to run rc